Welcome to another edition of App of the Week. Today I'm going to show you a screencasting tool that is available in the Chrome Web Store called Screencastify. This is a great tool that will record your screen and post that recording in your Google Drive. It's a very useful feature um, that I have. All you would have to do is go to the Chrome Web Store, do a search for Screencastify, and it's going to be lo located underneath the extension section that you can download. Now once you download it, what it's going to do is ask you for a couple of things. It's going to ask you for access to your webcam. It's also going to ask you where you want to store your video recordings. Um, now you can have it stored locally if you prefer, but I would suggest using your Google Drive account, the cloud storage just makes it easier to access. So once you guys have that set up, you'll see uh, Screencastify located right up here in your Chrome browser that you can click on whenever you want to record your screen. So I'm going to select Screencastify and it's going to give me a few options of things that I can do. I can record a tab. So you see I have multiple tabs open up my screen. I can select one tab and just record that tab. I can record my entire desktop, everything that's on my desktop, that everything that I do in my desktop, it'll pick all that up or I can record um, using my web camera so it would pick up me um, as opposed to what's on my screen. So it gives you lots of different options. I'm just gonna leave mine on my tabs. So I'm just recording one tab, I'm just gonna stay there. So uh, it gives me a few things, uh, check boxes here that I can select. Um, the microphone is automatically selected. You see as I'm speaking here, it's picking it up so I'll, I know that my microphone is, is working. If you have an external microphone, you'd be able to plug that in, see that in here, click on select to find in um, which input it is so you can use that one. Um, it gives you another option here for uh, tab audio. They have video options down here. This embed web webcam option would, in addition to recording your screen, it would record you and that recording would appear um, in the bottom right hand corner. So you can see this is kind of a, 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 a visual of what it would look like um, with a little box right there in the corner. That would be the webcam of you being recorded down at the bottom. Um, I'm not going to do that. I don't think you need to see me when, when I'm doing this recording. Um, but it also gives you down here this last one is a show preview window. So it'll preview um, your recording as you're recording. Um, and uh, so you have that image of uh, what the audience is going to be seeing. Um, it's a little distracting for me, so I'm not going to select that one. I'm just going to leave it as my basic tab recording. Um, so once I'm ready to begin, I'm going to select record tab down here at the bottom. I'm going to get a countdown. And now it's recording my screen. Everything that I'm doing, my voice, the whole nine, everything is being picked up and I can be able, I can see everything um, in my screen. I can demonstrate whatever I need to for my audience. Down here, what's nice with the tab recording, again, this is only available in the tab recording. It gives me some of these annotation options down here. So if I wanted to annotate something, I wanted to use my pen here, I could do that. I could select this and um, underline different things, highlight different options, um, circle things choose different colors so it gives me all sorts of things that I can do with uh, my pen. Um, I can click on my eraser down here to remove um, any marks that I've done or I can select this square which is going to wipe the screen and get rid of all of my uh, annotation marks. And then when I'm ready to just again begin clicking again I can click my arrow uh, to go back and forth between everything. So it has some, some features down there that you can use in the tab one. Again, that's only if you choose the tab options. You won't see those for the camera, nor will you see that when you want to do a desktop recording. So what's nice is, is I, I can continue to um, click on these options and go to different places within uh, this tab. This whole recording is being, being picked up. When I'm done, I can simply click on the uh, Screencastify extension again. When I select it, it tells me do you want to end recording? I'm going to say yes and click here to end recording. And now it's and now done. It's my and now you, doing, and now you see everything. I'm going to pause this. And now you see everything has been picked up. It gives me a little message up there saying it's being saved to my Google Drive. And now my screencasting is complete. Now all I have to do is just a few basic things with it. Um, I'm just going to give my screencasting a name. I'm just going to call this app of the week and hit close. So now my screencasting has a name. It's going to be saved in my Google Drive. I'm going to show you that here in a few minutes. Um, this 
cursor up here allows me to see all my recordings if I need to. So if I want to go here to see everything that I have, um, I could do that. I'll do that in a second. Um, I can save this to a disk. It gives me the ability to share this. Um, and there is an option to cropping, but that is, I, think, I believe that feature requires a premium um, subscription to this. So you'd have to have a paid version of it. So uh, just so you can see this, the shared option, if I clicked on it, um, it gives me an option to share it on my Google Drive or on YouTube. And then here I can get a link for this. And so now if I wanted to make this screen recording available to others, I can take that link and share it to uh, other individuals. Um, in addition, if I had other recordings, if I click on your recordings, you'll see all the recordings that I have completed uh, using Screencastify. So you'll see just some different options some different ones that I have. Um, and if I need to, to refer back to one that I've done before, I could make that available to other people. Now I'm gonna to go to my Google Drive and I'm going to go to my Screencastify folder. A folder is automatically generated for you. you I did not create this. Screencastify automatically generated this folder for me. So I have a Screencastify folder uh, right here uh, where I will find all of my videos, including the one that I just finished. It is right there available for me in my Google Drive. So I always have access to, access to it through the cloud. So that is Screencastify the screencasting extension that's available in the Chrome Web Store. Very easy to use, something I would recommend for all of our students and all of our teachers within our district.